Hello everybody, it's me, Jason Marr, back here again doing another video, day number 84. And today, I don't actually talk like that, I just talk like this. Yo, what's up? Now, today, a lot of people always ask me, what's the best way to learn magic? And I'm gonna give it to you straight. I'm gonna give it to you real, real straight. The truth is, you should start with the basics. Oh! I know that that sounds weird. Everyone just wants to go straight towards learning the crazy stuff though. You know, they get into magic because they saw someone doing insane second deals and they're like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna learn second deals. And they never even learn any of the fundamentals prior to that, like even just a mechanics grip on holding a deck. Anyway, the reason why I'm saying learn the basics is because the trick that I'm gonna be doing today is, is one of the fundamentals. It's like the thing that you learn that gives you like the insight into packet tricks. This is like, beginner entry level trick but it's still so strong and it teaches you a move that's so deceptive and also so practical in many elements of magic but before we get into the trick guys make sure you subscribe if you're not already and make sure that you like this video because we need to feed the algorithm lords it's important it's very very important also don't forget that me and josh have released our very first uh, podcast don't get me wrong it's not our finest work but it is a learning curve and if you haven't checked it out make sure that you go and check it out link's going to be in the description below check it out man also if you want me to teach you that sweet sweet trick in excruciating detail and hard definition uh, make sure that you go and give that video a like it needs to hit 350 I'm not waving on this guys I'm telling you last time I gave it up anyway but this time no way I need this for my ego for my ego needs feeding much like the algorithm Lords my ego needs a feed Ladies and gentlemen, Die Vernon's twisting the aces. Let's roll the stinger. Let's do a magic trick. All right, here we are back with the trick and today it's the four aces and these guys, I swear, they got minds of their own because if you twist the packet, one of the aces will flip face up. Not like that, you won't actually see it happen. That's the craziest part. Let me show you what I mean. If I twist the packet like this, sure enough, you get yourself an ace of diamonds. If I twist the packet again, you get yourself an ace of clubs. It's crazy, man. It doesn't even make sense, really. But the craziest part is if I turn it face down manually, if you twist it, it still turns up. You still get the ace of hearts. It's crazy, man. The craziest part about this whole thing is, though, is that even if I was to take the cards and turn all the rest of the cards over, right, all of a sudden you're going to see that oh, it worked. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I forgot to twist it. But if I twist it... Ah, see, there it is. It happens every time, and I'm sick of it, man. I'm sick of it. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that trick. It's old school like the old school, but it is good. It's a strong, powerful trick, man. You've got to practice it. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, I know that today is just a quick one, but tomorrow I am filming podcast episode number two. So your boy Jace needs to get some rest before he gets back into the full swing of things. Plus, this weekend, three full days of gigs which means new content for you guys i'm ecstatic i'm ecstatic anyway guys big love see you tomorrow for day number 85. check it out man